Now, if we put all of this knowledge together and just look at the problems that are in NP, then there's a lot of different possibilities for the properties of that problem. So either the problem, if it's an NP, could be in P, or it is NP complete, or it might even be something else. Now, we haven't really talked about this something else here, but there are some problems which are believed to be somewhere in between P and NP, at least if P does not equal NP, of course. One example here, for example, would be factoring two large numbers. Now, if your problem is NP complete, there are still very, very many possibilities. Your problem could be fixed parameter tractable. Your problem could have an approximation algorithm, and that approximation algorithm might either be a PTAS, a constant factor approximation algorithm, or also something else. And again, we haven't really talked about this something else, but for example, there are some approximation algorithms where you can have a logarithmic approximation factor. And then there are randomized algorithms, Monte Carlo algorithms, and Las Vegas algorithms. And there's many, many other things that we haven't touched upon. So really a lot of different complexities. Now, one final thing I should mention, there are two notions here especially if you talk to somebody who has studied theoretical computer science, they will nitpick you about the NP completeness because NP completeness is technically only defined for decision problems. So if you're talking about optimization problems and you want to be very correct, then you should call that problem an NP hard problem. But many people use these terms interchangeably and actually when you're working in practice on hard problems, it doesn't really make much of a difference, at least in my opinion, but it's not the most precise way to say it. So decision problems, NP complete, optimization problems, NP hard. What would happen if we were able to show that P equals NP? Would then each single class we have shown here become P? Or would the classes separate? And what I mean by this is, could we then show that not every NP complete problem is fixed parameter tractable, or not every NP complete problem has an approximation algorithm? And more than one of these here can be correct.